Yep, I get to do this keyboard thing again because I didn't have my microphone on. This is a Kinesis Advantage, an ergonomic keyboard. And the first thing you'll notice is it's got these cool concave shapes. The things you may not notice off the bat are that if you're used to hitting the letter B with your right index finger, now you're gonna have to learn to do it with your left, which uh, is a hassle. And if you wanna hit backspace, you're gonna use your left thumb, which I love, but uh, some people might find that a little weird. And uh, the keys are very scratchy. Hear the metal on metal contact? It's kind of gross a little bit and it's very hollow. Which for like a $300 keyboard, you know, isn't that great. And uh, the hardest part about these Ergo keyboards are even if you learn everything uh, and get that right, all the things you didn't expect to have to learn, you won't get right. So Alt, Control, uh, you know, Control, Delete, just hitting something like that, that's for me the hardest part of learning one of these systems. Now on normal keyboards, I was up to about 600, 610 characters a second, which is like you know, 116, 118 words a minute. Then I switched to Ergo, got slower, and then uh, switched back, and now I'm at like 550. So by learning Ergo and then going back to normal, I lost 10% of my typing speed, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, if you're doing deep work, the majority of your, your work is not typing, it's thinking. But there are times when you've got the ideas locked down and you need to type faster and it sucks to have lost 10%. So if you don't have to switch to Ergo and you're not having repetitive stress injuries and you're not having uh, problems like that, it's gonna be much better for you to just type on a regular keyboard than to learn ergonomic ones. So I've got some Ergo Doxes, which are just like this, except they're split. You can, you know, mount them on the sides of uh, your arms of your armchair. Um, you can tilt them. They're called tenting, I believe. Um, with this, you're kind of stuck with the, the format that you've got. Um, some people will customize and they'll cut this area out here and put a, a trackball, which is pretty cool. I, I love the whole trackball thing. So I, I like using, you know, control surface in the middle so I don't have to kick fingers off the home row. Uh, what other problems might uh, you have with this? I don't know, not too much, uh, you know, other than the fact that you'll probably always be slower even if you learn how to type on this. Don't know why, but uh, it seems like people just always end up typing a little bit quicker, maybe uncomfortably, but a little bit quicker on a, on a more standardized uh, format. So this keyboard also has some cool stuff in that you can add foot pedals in case you want to use uh, certain layers, right? Like you could, you could make, you know, shift a layer on a foot pedal and then you never have to take your fingers off the keys and you could be typing instead of moving them to a new key. It also has a buzzer so you can tell whether you hit caps lock or you could have it activate on every key press. Uh, it is a little irritating. It doesn't have removable cables and on newer versions of this, of which there is one, They've switched these rubber domes to a mechanical ML switch. I really never used these keys very much, so I didn't care all that much. I mean, look at this. Look where scroll lock and pause. It's so weird to have to learn these up here. Uh, yeah, so in summary, don't use an ergonomic keyboard unless you know, you're having stress, pain, or think that you might uh, using a normal keyboard because laptops, uh, they, don't, they don't come with these. They come with normal keyboards. So if you're ever gonna use a laptop, you're gonna be using someone else's computer, you really wanna have the ability to kick ass on the standard format. Yeah, that's it. This is the Kinesis Advantage. And uh, I guess maybe the next one I'll show you is an Ergodox because that looks crazy. Or maybe I'll do uh, one of the super duper colorful ones I built. I like building keyboards, I know. It's nerdy, but I like it. Your hands rest all day long on these things, so they might as well be awesome.